Do you want your website to be at the top results on Google? You can do it with SEMrush. To start, let's go to SEMrush website or you can use the link in the description. Once you set up your account, you're going to come to a dashboard that looks like this. First, let's enter our domain. Then on the left bar, let's go to organic search. Here, let's enter our domain again. And what SEMrush is going to do is give us some insights about our website. It's going to tell us our keywords, traffic, branded traffic, non-branded traffic, organic keywords, top keywords, and more. What's very interesting is that on the top bar, we can see competitors. SEMrush is going to show us our top competitors. So let's click on it. And here's the list of our top competitors. I'm just going to select a random one. Here, we're going to see our competitors' insights. We can see their keywords, traffic, traffic costs, their top keywords, and more. SEO has three important parts, content, authority, and corrections. To cover the content, the most important thing are the keywords. Here, we can see all the keywords that our competitor is using. Let's click on positions, and we're going to see a list of keywords along with some insights, such as the intent, the keyword could be informational, commercial, transactional, the volume, the keyword difficulty, and the URL, also the traffic. So we're going to see a list of keywords that our competitor is using and is already ranking for. This is an opportunity for us to use the most well. We can also sort this list of keywords by positions, volume, keyword difficulty, intent, SERP features, and more. I want to sort this list by position. I want the top 10 keywords and then by keyword difficulty. If you're starting a new website, my advice is to start with keywords with low keyword difficulty. This means that it won't be that hard to rank for these keywords on Google. So when a user looks for something in Google, there is a higher chance for your website to be shown in the top results. Here I'm going to select custom range and I'm going to customize it from 0 to 40. Here we have a new list of keywords with low keyword difficulty that we can use. Then we can also sort this list by keyword difficulty. It can show them from highest to lowest or the other way around. SEMrush also has this tool called Keyword Gap. Since we already know our competitors, we can go to the left bar and click on Keyword Gap. Here we can type our domain and our competitor's domain. SEMrush is going to suggest some. And then we click compare. Here we have a list of keywords that our competitors are using and already ranking and that we're not using. It's an opportunity for us to use them since we already know their ranking and it's working for them. Here we can also see the volume and the keyword difficulty. This means that if we use these keywords, it's very likely that our website will be ranking. Another tool for keywords is the Keywords Strategy Builder. Let's go to the left bar and click on Keywords Strategy Builder. And since we already have an idea of keywords that we can use, we can type them and then click on Create List. This will take a minute. SEMrush is going to create content pillars along with subpages. This will give us ideas of one we can write about to rank on Google. It will also give us some insights such as the intent, the keyword difficulty, and the volume. It also tells us which ones have the highest ranking potential. We can select one that we like best, and these are all content ideas that we can write about to rank on Google. If we find one that we like, we can go to Write Content on the right, and SEMrush is going to take us to the SEO Writing Assistant. Let's click on Send Keywords, and this will analyze our content. So for example, Let's take the keyword that we selected, go to Google and search it. I'm going to click on one of the top results. Then let's copy the URL and import it here. It's going to take into consideration the readability, the SEO, the originality and even the tone of voice. And it will give us an overall score for how good the content is. Also, if you keep scrolling on the right, SEMrush is going to give us some suggestions on how to make our content better. There is other feature called Keyword Magic Tool. Let's go to the left bar and click on it. And here we can type a general keyword. For example, we want to write about grow your business. This is going to show us a list of other keywords that are related to the keyword we just typed. So we'll have a lot of other keywords that we can include in our content and their ranking too. Here we can also sort the keywords by keyword difficulty. So I'm going to sort them from zero to 30. And here we have our list of related keywords. We have covered the content, now let's talk about authority. A very important part for the authority is the backlinks. So on the left part, let's click on backlink analytics and here we'll have our competitor's backlink profile. We can see their referring domains, their backlinks, their monthly visits, organic visits, their output domain and their authority score. What we can do here is click on backlinks on the top bar and SEMrush is going to show us a list of websites that have a link to our competitor's website. This means that these websites are interested in our type of content, so they're very likely to add a link to our website too. Here we can sort this list by all 
active, new or lost, or all, follow, no follow or sponsored. I want the active links and the ones that are followed because those are the ones that benefit our website. We'll see a list of websites that we can contact and see if they will be willing to add a link to our website. And we can also sort this list by new, so we know that they recently added a link to our competitor's website, so it means that they're actively adding links. When other websites add a link to our website, it benefits our backlink profile and therefore our authority. Here's an example of a very good website that already has a link to our competitor's website, so we can contact them and ask them for a link insertion. Lastly, we have corrections. We have to remember that SEO is not a one-time thing but an ongoing thing. So we have to be aware of any errors, warnings or problems that might show up and we have to fix to make our website better and keep it up to date. To do this, SEMrush has this tool called Site Audit. So let's go to the left bar and click on Site Audit. Here we're going to type our domain and click on Start Audit. Let's set this up. Here we're going to type our domain and select if we're going to crawl our main domain or all of our subdomains too. I'm just going to crawl the main domain. Here we can select the number of pages that we have and then crawl source. Then we can also go to crawler settings. Here we can allow or disallow URLs, remove our URL parameters, we can bypass website restrictions. This is optional so I'm going to leave it like that. And we can also schedule the crawling. If you want to start it right now, click on start site audit. What this is going to do is crawl our website and find any errors, warnings or notices. It will also give us some insights such as internal linking, international SEO, performance, core web vitals, and much more. The important thing is that it will give us an overall site health score so you can see how your website is doing and it will also point out errors and warnings that you have to be aware and fix to, in order to make your site better. We have covered the basics of SEO and what you can do with SEMrush. If you're creating a new website, you might want to start with a domain. You can check out our video about how to get it right here. Or if you want to know how to build your website, you can check out our video about the best website builders right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye!